ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਸਾ ਸੰਗਤ ਜੀ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਬੈਕ ਟੂ ਨੈਕਸਟ ਐਪੀਸੋਡ ਇਨ ਦ ਚਿਤਰੋ ਬਖਿਆਨ ਸੀਵੀ this episode will be covering chitra number 3 and chitra starts by dohra band saal ko pu patab nij sut diyo bithaye bhor hot apne nikat bohro liyo bulaye guru sahib says that once the previous in the previous chitra as we heard the over laying story of raja chitra singh when the advisor is told him hold up let us explain to you about your decision that us guide you on your decision of what to do with your son but at the current state the king had made the decision to execute his own son and the advisors want to advise against that the advisors are like let me tell you a story to persuade you to give you another side of the story so what happened is that and this will happen in the start of many stories and mostly all the stories to come will be that Rajendra Singh will send his son Harwant Singh to the dungeon. He will send him to the dungeon and in the morning while the advisors are there and the advisors will tell the new story Harwant Singh is going to be in that darbar as well and Rajendra Singh will be there and possibly other people as well will be in that darbar in that court listening to the story. So that's what happened in the previous chitra was when the chitra ends band saal ko pu patab nich sutti o bithai the king sends his son to the dungeon you know a medieval type of jail cell and then poor hot apne nikat bohro liyo bulaye and the next morning upon sunrise hanuman singh is then called to his father rajjitra singh right, into that presence of the darbar now ek putra ka gwar ki taako kaho bichar now in the presence of hanuman singh the political advisors of rajjitra singh begin to narrate the very first tale they narrate a story of a woman who was the daughter of a quote unquote unwise family possibly a family who didn't participate in a practice of passing down education and more values to their children for that reason the word guard is used guard is meaning a foolish person so now the the advisors are going to to share the story and they say dohra siri mrig chashmati raha ta ko roop apar so they bring a character and the story starts with a character who is a female her name is siri mrig chashmati a name which means the superior eyes of intellect that are as beautiful and innocent as a deer that's what her name means siri mrig chashmati she lived in a city called kalapi which is within the state of up india uttar pradesh and the guru gives a alankar or a poetical device which to describe her character by saying nirkh chashpa kar ki chhablaja the radiance of the moon diminishes upon seeing her trusting that the beauty of her character that was accepted in the society or the city of kalapi so this character is introduced we're told that she's very beautiful she lives within the state of up india in a city called kalapi and her name is sri mrig chashmati uch neech ta sau sada nit prat kare johar people from all walks of life would give her respect by bowing in her presence possibly because they regarded her as a pious or faithful individual but behind closed doors the character of this sri mrig chashmati might not be what's represented outside so what what's her character behind closed doors birad motia yaar te he tarun patriya yaar away from the public eye this woman was in a relationship with two men one was young and whose physique was in accordance of social norms of fit and healthy while the other was quite old and he be- can be considered overweight or possibly unattractive raat divas ta so kare doa va man bihar she would spend much of her time engaging in a relationship between these two individuals however she would mostly spend her time with the younger male if she did get stuck spending time with the older one she would feel a sense of regret here the narrator the advisors who are narrating the story make a point about age and relationships they say in the in the way of the world what happens they say hor tarun ke tarun bas birat tarun bas hoye they say the way of the world is this that everyone knows eh reet sab jagat ki janat hai sab ko everyone knows that this is the reeti of the world what is the reeti ho tarun ke tarun bas a young female is attracted to a young male birat tarun bas hoye however a older male is attracted to a younger female We're referring to siri mrig chashmati how she hates to be with a older male she despises it she does not want to be with an older male from here the reader can surmise her possible reasoning for maintaining the relationship in the first place to be self driven possibly a arranged relationship which she has to preserve to continue her to have the respect of her public image so therefore she wants to be with the younger male 
right? She wants to have spend her time with the younger male. She's spending her time also with the older male to maintain this relationship, this false relationship for maybe public needs to fit the public image. You know, right? like we said, she might be in a really in a arranged relationship that she has to maintain. You know, all these really all these re reasons could be the reason for her maintaining a relationship that she does not enjoy to be a part of. But eventually, she's caught in the act. Ramat patriya sangat hoti an motiye yar. Payan ko khar ko kiyo tavan tarun ke dwar. One day while she was home embracing the young male, spending time with the younger male, embracing each other in love, the older male came home. Upon hearing the footsteps of the older male, Sri Mirik Chashmati had the younger male jump out the window. She quickly gets up. When she does, she ovulates due to the fact that she was spending time with the younger male. The older male enters the room where she was and sees that she's ovulating. The older male suspects something's up and urges her to explain herself. Now she uses deception. She says, She starts to defend herself by replying, When you entered this house, when you entered this room, seeing your great appearance, I could not contain myself. This is why I ovulated. When he heard this, the older male, when he heard this, his younger female's words, what that means is here, the narrator refers to this man as an animal. They say, means an animal. He, the narrator here, refers to this man as an animal, possibly to relay the thought of how he was harvesting his ego. His ego grew so big, believing that his body is beautiful. Fool geo pas baat sun nij sut manne ang start to believe that yeah I am beautiful. Mohe nirkh chab bal ko chit par giryo anang. He thought to himself, by seeing my body, she ovulated. Here concludes this chitter, Sad Sangha Ji, in which a socially respected person plays the card of deception through flattering and raising an individual's ego so that they could they would be blinded to the truth all in all to save her personal public image of being a pious person so one thing that i extract from this story is how she was respected by everyone right her, her name the gurus have named her you know shows that she had a she had a very big she had a very positive image of the world. Holding such a positive image behind closed doors though, she had a different type of character. And like we explained in the last episode as well, these stories will be talking about those individuals that either had such pious, beautiful characters or those individuals that turned their back to Taram and instead chose a path of darkness. Here you can see that she had different attentions than what she, she posed on outside. And one can extract many lessons from this story that relate to Pakhand that relate to Fokat Taram where Guru Sahib always talks about Pakhand and, and uh, Fokat Taram Karam Taram Pakhand Jodhi Seh Din Jam Jaga Ti Luta Guru Sahib talks about when we do Taramik Karams when we do actions that relate to Taram like we represent this form of righteousness but inside we have Pakhand right? we're just putting on a, play, on a on a play we're putting on this play for others to see that hey this person is very religious this person is very pious but inside we're not that way Mara says that Bakhan you see the jams jagati luta the jams who are tax collectors when we leave this body they will know that we have just done Bakhan in this world we didn't really sit down to do Nam Japana or read, read Gurbani we just showed it and the story Guru Sahib rep is, is kind of showing that where inside her she had so much calm right? she had so much lust right? but outside she was maintaining this this type of relationship, she was maintaining such a pious image, but she did not carry that character inside. So, Sad Sangaji, I really look forward to seeing in the next episode. Please comment down below, tell me what you learned from this story, how you can apply this in your life, and I would love to hear from you. I'll be in the comment section reading through your comments.